Bienvenue, welcome. Lambda, étranger, stranger. Glücklich zu sehen, je suis enchanté. Happy to see you, bleibe, uh, bleibe, rest a stay. Welcome and bienvenue, welcome. Im cabaret, au oh cabaret, to cabaret. Meine Dame und Herren, Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen. Guten Morgen. Bonjour. Good morning. Wie geht's? Comment ça va? Do you feel good? I bet you do. Ich bin euer Kopf Français. Je suis votre compère. I am your host. Und sagen willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. Im Cabaret, au oh Cabaret, to Cabaret. Welcome, everybody, to the Circe Symposium. <laughs> and before, before I continue, please, everybody, give a wonderful round of applause to my pianist, Beth Ann Turner. The song that I'm singing is from the, the musical Cabaret, which has a long history. Uh, it started in 1939 when it was published as a short story by Christopher Isherwood. Uh, it was then remade into a play called I'm a Camera, and in 1972 made into a film starring Liza Minnelli and Joel Grey. In 1998, uh, it was remade on Broadway starring Alan Cumming, and for those of you in Music 273, this is the version that we watched in class. The, this song, uh, Willkommen, the MC played by Joel Gray uh, is like a puppet almost with very severe makeup and a sinister expression. Cummings' performance of it is starkly different with a gaudy makeup on everybody and an uncomfortably sexual interlude. This piece is sung by the MC and the cabaret girls to welcome the audience on two levels, into the physical audience and also into the story. And my performance of it is not gray and not coming, but Cogswell. <laughs> This is an accordion. My right hand plays the piano notes, and my left hand plays the bass notes. I've been playing music in school bands for nearly 10 years now, but only ever traditional wind instruments, and the little piano that I did have was only enough to get me off the ground. Playing it is a bit like uh, rubbing your stomach and patting the top of your head at the same time, um, and it's just sort of an all new thing to me. Uh, if you can believe it, I bought the accordion at the beginning of the semester, but I didn't actually start playing until just after the fires, so maybe seven weeks, seven or eight weeks. Uh, I chose the accordion because it is very emblematic of French and German music, especially in the 1930s, but even today, and that's sort of the theme of Circe, is how we, is how we can connect the past to the modern era. I know that even after we have all long graduated, and I will probably never pick this thing up again, we will always have Circe. Sagen, welcome and bienvenue, welcome in cabaret, oh cabaret to
Well, welcome and bienvenue, welcome to Cabaret. Um, good morning, everybody. And welcome indeed to the seventh edition of the Circe Symposium. I congratulate all Circe participants present here today. We have made it to the finish line and to this very precious moment when we get to share and delight in each other's accomplishments. Thank you all for your trust, your efforts, your stamina. Thank you for making this day possible, for contributing to the feast laid out for us to feed our intellectual and artistic curiosity. As you may have noticed from the programs posted at the entrance, uh, we are in for a treat with a vast variety of offerings ranging from um, digital to live presentations, much better, and performances, sometimes combining both, to a wide variety of poster sessions, art pieces and installations, and disinstallations, as, you'll, as you will see, I believe, before the morning is over, as well as a museum-like exhibition on the Eastern Gallery. And please make sure to visit this lovely area of Wild Hall with its gorgeous view of Sonoma Mountain and beautiful Eastern light. Make sure you take the necessary detour to check out the work of the Art 273 seminar that is displayed there. And remember that it is on the way to the post symposium reception starting at 1245. So as I said last week, if you want a cookie, go see some art. For now, however, before um, the three other live performances to take place here, scheduled on this, sta on this stage, I would like to take a minute um, to extend my thanks to key people without whom this event could never have taken place. First of all, my gratitude goes to Caroline Nyman, Director of Artistic Administration of the Green Music Center, and the members of her crew, Cindy Chong, Laurie Kirx, her team of ushers, Joe Gray, Carmen Nikolov, Jerry Hulig, who is running the tech for us today. On the academic side, I wish to thank the Dean of Arts and Humanities, whose constant support from the start has made it possible for an, an experiment to become a tradition. I want to thank the Arts and Humanities faculty members, without whom, for sure, this enterprise would never have taken off. I'm grateful for their expertise, their prof professionalism, and collegiality, their flexibility as team members, their creativity and adventuresness. I thank our guest speakers, Susanna Lucia Lamena and Victoria Vieira, our dedicated librarian, Marjorie Lear, who offered our participants guidance, workshops, and a wealth of resources, including seminar-specific research guides. I thank our peer facilitators who helped and mentored students inside and outside the classroom. I thank Nigel Vaughan, Circe's in instructional assistant, who helped put together the symposium, programs, and website. I thank my colleague, Gregory Roberts, for the beautiful poster that was designed for this symposium this semester. And I want to thank Kate Sims, the administrative coordinator for the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures, who is taking the, the green room today and has been an infallible resource for many tasks and details. I cannot even start listing here. I think I'm reaching the end of my list. And again, I want to thank you all for being here and bringing together this event where to share in the creativity of the spring of the fall 2017 CSA vintage. Let it be rewarding and inspiring. I hope you enjoy the show and the many exhibitions available to you. Enjoy. Should I start? Okay. This is a story of Juan Bravo a, a young man in, during the 1930s in, in California in an era known as the Mex Mexican repatriation 
where the U.S. government illegally deported U.S. citizens as young as nine and as old as 73. Our pro protagonist does understand why he's being sent to a country, Mexico, he doesn't know nor want to live in. In order to vent his emotions, he writes a poem while on his way to Mexicali. Yo soy Juan Bravo, son of California, but to her golden eyes, no sign nadie. Passing by the blue skies in our old Ford with nothing but mi familia, some clothes, and food. No estoy seguro de mi futuro, but boy, my head be hanging low. They say it's because I'm brown, porque también hablo español, but even so, I'm still confused. Mi papá said Mexico is home, yet Mexico's don't, Mexico, California is the only home I know. We try to stay, ignore the warnings, but mi papá finally gave in. We packed what we could carry and left the home I was raised in. I don't want to leave. I just want to stay at home, but I'll never see it again. I'll never see it again. I'll hold back these tears, these tears wanting to overflow. What? No, how could I, how is it that no puedo quedar in a country I was born in, raised in? Why, why must I leave when I did nothing? Why can't I stay? This isn't fair. I'm American too. I'm American too. Thank you. Hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> um, so uh, my name is Jacob Buick. This is Alan Locke. Um, the first song we're about to play is called Good Lovin'. It's by the Young Rascals. Uh, and it was released in 1968. And we're going to play it in a... 1930s blues-ish style. Tell me what's ailing me. He said, Yeah, 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 yes, indeed. All I, I really need is good and loving, a good and loving. Thank you. Um, 
So for our next song, uh, it's titled Me and the Devil Blues by Robert Johnson. Um, and we're going to play it in a more modern, you know, quick pace style. I uh, hope you guys like it. This morning, when you knocked upon my door, Early this morning, when you knocked upon my door, I said, Hello, Satan, I believe it's time to. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Jacob and Alan. And there, uh, this concludes our program here on Wild Stage for the morning. So I invite you now to uh, go explore the rest of the venue. There's there are tons of beautiful things to witness. Thank you. <laughs>